It is impossible. Here's the commission. Read it up more later. I was just sealed. Why, even in that was heaven ordinant. I had my father's signet in my purse, which was the model of that Danish seal. Folded the writ up in the form of feathers, subscribed it, gave it the impression, placed it safely. The changeling never known. So Rosencrantz and Gildred so go too. Why, man, they did make love to this employment. They are not near my conscience. Their defeat is by their own insinuation, bro. But I am very sorry, good Horatio. But to Laertes, I forgot myself. By the image of my cause, I see the portraiture of his. I'll court his favours. Sure, the bravery was grief to put me into a towering passion. Please, who comes here? Your Lordship is right welcome back to Denmark. I humbly thank you, sir. Just know this water fine. No, my lord. My state is more gracious <laughs> as if I to know him. Sweet lord, if your lordship were at Lisieux, I shall impart a thing to you from his majesty. I will receive it, sir, with all diligence. Put your bonnet to his right use, tis for the head. I thank your lordship, it is very hot. No, believe me, it is very cold. The wind is northerly. It is a difference, girls, my lord, indeed. But yet methinks it is very sultry and hot for my complexion. <laughs> Exceedingly, my lord, it is very sultry. As it were, I cannot tell how. But, my lord, his majesty hath bade me signify to you that he hath laid a great wager upon your head. Sir, this is the matter. I beseech you. Nay, no. good my lord, for my knees in good faith. Sir, here is newly come to court, Laertes. Uh, believe me, sir, an absolute gentleman, full of the most excellent differences, of very soft society and great showing. Indeed, to speak feelingly of him, he is the very card or calendar of gentry. For in him one might find the continent of what parts gentlemen would see. What imports the nomination of this gentleman? <laughs> of Laertes? Of him, sir. I know you are not ignorant. I would you did, sir. Yet in faith, if you did, it would not much approve me. Well, sir? <laughs> I know you are not is ignorant of what excellence ladies is. I dare not. His purse is empty already. What golden words have spent. I know you are not ignorant of what excellence ladies is. I dare not confess that, lest I should compare with him in excellence. But to know a man well were to know himself. I mean, sir, for his weapon. For in the imputation laid on him by them, in his meed he is. Unfellowed. What's his weapon? Rapier and dagger. That's two of his weapons, but one. The king, sir, hath wagered with him six Barbary horses, against the which he hath impelled, as I take it, six French rapiers and poniards, <laughs> complete with their assigns as girdle, hangers, and so. Three of the carriages, my lord, are very dear to fancy, very responsive to the hilt's most <laughs> delicate carriages, my lord. A very liberal conceit. Six Barbary horses against six French swords, there are signs, and three liberal conceit carriage. That's the French bet against the Danish. Why is all this uh, imponed, as you call it? The king, sir, hath laid, sir, that a dozen passes between yourself and him, he shall not exceed you three hits. <laughs> Yet laid on twelve for nine. And it would come to immediate trial if your lordship would vouchsafe the answer. Well, if I answer no. Uh, I, I mean, my lord, for the opposition of your person and trial. Sir, I will walk here in the hall, if it pleases, Majesty. It is the breathing time of day with me. Let the foils be brought, the gentleman willing, and the king hold his purpose. I will win for him, and I can. If not, I will gain nothing but my shame and the odd hits. Shall I read a review even, sir? To this effect, sir, after what flourish your nature will. I commend my duty to your lordship. Yours. Yours. <laughs> this lopping runs away with shell on his head. He did comply with his dog before he stopped it. You will lose this wager, my lord. I do not think so. Since he went into France, I've been in continual practice. I shall win at the odds. I would not think how ill all's here about my heart. I mean, it is no matter. Nay, come, my lord. It I is think. foolery. It is such a kind of game giving as would perhaps trouble a woman. If your mind dislike anything, obey it. I will forestall their repair hither and say you are unfit. Not in ways. We defy augury. There is a special providence in the fall of a sparrow. If it be now, it is not to come. If it be not to come, it will be now. <coughs> if it be not now, yet it will come. The 
readiness is all. Since no man of all he leaves knows what is to leave betimes, let be. Give me your pardon, sir. I've done you wrong, but pardoned as you are a gentleman. This presence knows, and you must needs have heard, how I am punished with a sore distraction. What I have done that might your nature, honor, and exception roughly awake, I here proclaim was madness. Sir, in this audience, let my disclaiming from a purposed evil free me so far in your most generous thoughts that I have shot my arrow over the house and hurt my brother. I am satisfied in nature whose motive in this case should stir me most to my revenge. But in my term as honor, I stand aloof. I will no reconcile them till by some elder masters of no honor I have a voice and precedent of peace to keep my name undone. But till that time I do receive your offered love, light up. I will not write. I embrace it freely. And will this brother's wager frankly play? Give us the boils, come on. Come on for me. I'll be your foil, Laertes. In mine ignorance, your skill shall like a star of the darkest night stick far off indeed. You mock me, sir. No, by this hand. I gave them the foil, John Murphy. Cousin Hamlet, you know the wager? Very well, my lord. Your grace has laid the odds of the weakest eye. I do not hear <coughs> it. I have seen you both, and since he is better, he therefore odds. This is too heavy. Let me see another. This likes me well. These foils have all the length. I'm alone. <coughs> If Hamlet gave the fourth or second hit, or quit in answer of the third exchange, and all the battlements to ordnance fire, the king drinks to Hamlet's better breath, and in a cup an union shall he throw, richer than that which four successive kings in Denmark's crown have worn. Now let the kettle to the trumpet speak, the trumpets to the cannoneers, without the cannons to the heavens, the heavens to earth, the king drinks to Hamlet. Come, begin! And you, the judges, bear a wary eye. Come on, sir. Come, my lord. One! Uh, no! Judgment! Uh, it's a very palpable hit. Well, again. <laughs> Stay! Hamlet! This pearl is thine. Here's to thy health. Give him the cup. I'll play this bout first. Uh, set it by a while. Come. Another hit! What say you? Touch, a touch, I do confess. Our son shall win. The queen carouses to thy fortune, Hamlet. The you do not drink. I will, my lord. I pray you pardon me. It is the poison cup, it is too late. Come, let me wipe thy face. My lord, I'll hit him now. I do not think it. Yes. It's almost against my conscience. Come, for the third Laertes, you do but dally. I pray you pass with your best violence. I'm afraid you make a wanton of me. See you, sir? Come on. Nothing, neither way. How about you now? Ah! There you come again. Hard to lay incensed. Look to the queen, the hoe. Indeed, I'm all to it, my lord. How is that? Why has the wood cup to my own spring, Josric? I am just to deal with my treachery. How does the queen? She swoons to see them bleed. No. The drink, the drink, oh my dear Hamlet. The drink. The drink. I am poisoned. Hamlet. How? Where the door be locked? Treachery! Seek it out! It is here, Hamlet! Hamlet, thou art slain! No medicine in the world can do thee good! In the years of half an hour of life, the treacherous instrument is in thy hand, unbaited and envenomed. Lo, I lie, lo, here I lie, never to rise again. My mother's poisoned! I can no more! The king! The king's to blame! Her point in venom, too. Then venom <coughs> to thy wife! <coughs> <coughs> Yet defend me, friend. Here, thou incestuous, murderous, damned Dane. Drink off this potion. Is thy much union here? Follow my mother. 
he is justly served. It is a poison tempered by himself. Exchange forgiveness with me, noble Hamlet. Mine and my father's death come not upon thee, nor thine on me. Heaven make thee free of it. I follow thee. I am dead, right, Shem? Wretched queen, and you. You that look pale and tremble at this chance, that are but mute so audience to this act, had I but time. As this false sergeant death is strict in his arrest, I could tell him. Let it be. Ratio, I'm dead, thou list. Report me and my cause erect the unsatisfied. Oh, never have believed it. I am, I am more an antique Roman than a Dane. Look, here is yet some liquor left. Stout a man, give me the cup. Let go, by heaven, I'll hat! What a wounded name, things standing thus unknown should have died. If thou didst ever hold me in thy heart, I have sent thee from Felicity a while, and in this harsh world draw thy breath in pain to tell my story. What warlike noise is this? The unfortunate pass with conquest come from Poland to the ambassadors of England sent this warlike folly. Uh, I die, Horatio. The potent poison quite our cosmic spirit. I cannot live to hear the news from England, but I do prophesy the election might in Fortin Brass. He hath my dying voice. So tell him with the current, or unless which I solicit. The rest is silent. Now, cracks a noble heart. Good night, sweet prince. And flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. Let let four captains bear Hamlet like a soldier to the stage. For it was likely had he been put on to approve most royally. And for his passage, the soldier's rights, the songs of war speak loudly for him. Such a sight as this becomes the field. But here shows much amiss. Go bid the soldiers shoot. <laughs> 